Como estás, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of the main event talk. I am the main event player, the Super C. Furman Taurus, if you will. Right now, the camera has kind of been focused on Hector Juarez. Now, you know him quite well as the lead singer of Pedro Masker. You probably also know him as the singer for Abrasion. He had played uh, part of that band, the legendary Abrasion. He also played for Free State. Day Never Came, and uh, I believe, what else did he play? Uh, Screwface. He also played for that band as well. Uh, today, believe it or not, if you're getting this YouTube exclusive for the first time, today is Hector Wattis' birthday. Yes! Homestar Runner's birthday! Which means we're all going to get fucked up, we're all going to get drunk, we're all going to have ourselves a bottle of Jaeger and everything else like that, and by the time we have that bottle of Jaeger and finish out that bottle, we'll all be fucking dead before you know it. Shit! Damn! Orale! <laughs> but anyways, uh, I have been waiting to do this for a while because um, I had this idea in my head. Now, if you guys have seen my last main event talk, uh, you know my thoughts about the Periwinkle Massacre. And you know the fact that I feel the Periwinkle Massacre is not dead. I think that they will continue on. And they've got a lot of uh, new stuff that they want to work on. I'm hoping that that happens. Now, to me, uh, Hector... You know, he's one of my closest best friends for a long, long time. Known him for well over 20 years. I mean, he's basically in the same league as uh, one of my other best friends, like uh, Mark Anthony Pantoja, uh, Stephanie Gonzalez, uh, Adam Ramos, and uh, Roman Ramos, and so forth. You know, it's uh, truly tremendous. Now, Hector is not just, a, a, you know, on a personal note, just to let everybody know about what Hector is, you know. He's not only a, a great uh, singer, he's also a great guitar player, great musician, and he's also a great father, you know, knows what he does for his kids and everything, you know, is always there for him every chance he gets. Uh, Hector and I have hanged out for, uh, you know, a few places, and we've hanged out at uh, uh, Q's a long time ago, we've hanged out at the House of Rock, we've hanged out at Theo's a few times. Uh, of course, Hector has performed, you know, the like, you know, the Pair Wicker Massacre has performed at the House of Rock and performed over at Theo's many, many times, you know. Hector is truly one of the greatest friends I've ever had. And, you know, uh, this past uh, uh, month, he went ahead and got me a bottle of Jaeger, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, Hector said he had something for me, and, you know, we did. Um saw him over at the Equalize show over at the um, House of Rock, which was, by the way, one of the great, one of the coolest shows I've seen in 2011. Uh, it was great to ha to see the whole Equalize group, you know, see Dom and see Hector. And it was also cool to see uh, a few people I've never seen sing on stage before with, uh, you know, Kim and everyone else. But anyways... Uh, Hector, like I said, is a great friend. I've known him for a long time. He was a part of a few bands. Uh, to kind of bring up this one little part of a story, um, a long time ago, I think it was 2008 or 2009, I think Hector and I had hanged out in my house and we had Mike Rod and John Luna come over. Uh, John Luna, and this is the truth, John Luna was fucking wasted as hell. He was so wasted, he actually almost passed out on my damn porch, I swear to God. <laughs> That's the fucking truth. And then I remember, um, I think it was Mike Rod, um, uh, you know, Hector's a big UFC fan. He put on an arm bar submission, almost tried to break Mike Rod's arm. And I was like, oh my God, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, you know, that was one funny thing that I remember about it. Also, you know, Hector and I, we've always hanged out at uh, Theo's a few times. Uh, uh, one story I like to bring up on that is uh, me and Hector hanged out at Theo's uh, one Sunday night. And um, Hector and I, uh, it was about 10 o'clock at night. And and I was going to take over the jukebox. And he was going to take over the jukebox. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'll put in 10. You put in 10. We'll see what happens. All right. So he puts in $10. And I put in $10. And we put in a bunch of fucking badass bands. We're talking All the Remains. We're talking Chimera. We're talking Kill Switch Engage. You know, we're talking some classic Anthrax. Some classic Megadeth. Some classic uh, Slayer. And, and so forth. You know, we, we go to that. You know, and we were drinking nothing but fucking Mikola Ultras and Jaegers. You know, in his case, you know, Coors Light. You know, that's always been his fucking beer and everything else like that. 
I've had a lot of great memories with Hector, and I was just glad to be a part of it. And uh, most of the time, and I think uh, Hector probably does not know about this one part, and I've always felt that he needed to know about this, where uh, you know his mom and his dad love him a whole lot. His sister loves him a whole lot. Elena, PB, pretty baby Elena. <laughs> That's what I like to call her. Um, the thing is, uh, you know, whenever Hector goes down, whenever things, you know, mess up in any way possible, he always comes to me. And I'll always, I've always had his back every chance I got. Whenever shit went down, you know, the main event was always there for him. You know, I mean, he was that close to me, you know, just like, just like Adam, just like Stephanie, just like, you know, Antoine, you know, anything that goes down, I want to be there for him every chance I get. And... You know, that's why I'm doing this, because this is a, a personal made of an exclusive that nobody will ever hear from me to anyone else. Because this is true, because I know Hector very, very well. And like I said, he's a talented musician, he's great at what he does, he's a great father to his kids, and I'd like to see Hector go as far as he can, you know. And I like to, I personally like to just hang out with Hector, period, you know, just to be around him every chance I got. You know, so I guess until then, guys, this is, you know, like I said, you know, this is an exclusive. You'll never hear this anywhere else. And I just want to say to my best friend, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope you have a great birthday. And I hope all of us, myself and the members of the Parabolic Massacre and also the members of the Main Event Posse and Headbanger Incorporated, We'll have an opportunity to get drunk, to get fucked up, messed up, screwed up with my best friend, Homestar Runner. Now, if you guys want an opportunity to wish Hector a happy birthday, you cannot get him on Facebook, but you can get him on Twitter.com. That's right. All you got to do is go to Twitter.com slash, I think it's Crunky Heck. I think that's what it is. Crunky Heck. You can also find the Periwinkle Massacre. That's right. The Periwinkle Massacre is also on Twitter as well. You can find them on Twitter.com slash TP Massacre. You can also find the main event player on Twitter.com slash at main event player. Find that. Of course, you can find the main event player on Facebook as well. So once again, I want to say happy birthday to my longtime best friend, Hector Wattis. Hope you have a great birthday, Hector, and hopefully you and I will have an opportunity to come to my house one day and finish off that bottle of Jaeger, drink some Mikola Ultras, jam out to some Chimera for old time's sake, and jam out to anything badass and anything cool that you like. Why? Because I can, and I want to, or let me correct that, because you can, and you want to. Any questions? E. Nuff said. Happy birthday, Hector. Have a great one, my man.